Today I want to share a big idea. I want to tell you how thousands of super successful entrepreneurs, small businesses and large companies are using a simple tool to find, attract and retain smart and ambitious employees. This tool is called Human Resources Management Software HRMS, or Human Resources Information Systems HRIS. From employee data management to payroll, recruitment, benefits, training, talent management, employee engagement, and employee attendance, HR software helps companies big and small, as well as HR professionals, manage the modern workforce. This show is a beginner's tutorial on using HR management software to disaster-proof your small business, save money, hire incredible talent, and optimize your human capital management, labor analytics, online payroll services, and workforce performance. Stay tuned. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I'm just doing fantastic. I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing marvelous. How you doing? I hope you are doing marvelous as well. And if you are doing marvelous, go grab a cup of coffee <laughs> or tea <laughs> or even better, vodka. <laughs> and let's go. Yeah, today, I want to talk to you about HR software management. HR management software, rather. <laughs> and what's very important with HR management software is that this is a tool that a lot of people, especially entrepreneurs and small businesses, haven't really understood quite, you know, quite perfectly. And today, I really want to uh, demythify, demystify the software and show you how you can use it to make more money and hire incredible talents. Now, before I jump into this, I want to quickly give a, sh a shout out to our fans in South Dakota. So we have Colum Elliott in Sister, South Dakota, Hidden Grant in Ipswich, South Dakota, and Maya Jackson in Melbourne, South Dakota. And we want to thank our millions of fans and viewers and listeners in the United States of America in Canada, in the UK, in New Zealand, and Australia, and the list goes on. Now, let's get right into it. The first thing I want to talk to you about is that the reason why a lot of multi-millionaire entrepreneurs and very successful small businesses are using HR management software is because the software gives them, you know, handles something called workforce management. That's number one workforce management and the first thing under the umbrella of workforce management is time and attendance with HR management software you can do a lot of stuff right for instance timekeeping so you can easily track and manage employee time and attendance data this is very important especially if you have a large team that is uh, scattered across the globe, not even across the country, but across the globe, you want to keep track of the time. This is very important, right? The second thing you want to do here is with the HR software is to deliver the right productivity tools to the right people. Sometimes if you have a team and you're working, for instance, on project management, you want to be able to give the right tools to the right people at the, at the right stage of the project so that you know people are product, productive people can follow follow items and respond in real time this is very important so you don't lose time you don't lose money and you don't lose other resources this is called operational synergy you want all your uh, all your staff and all the resources you know machinery um, software and everything else to be in sync the third thing is that if you can keep track of time and attendance, you can improve decision making with real time data. So you have visibility on real time. You know who is working on which task. You can make decision in real time. And again, in a competitive, in an in a global competitive marketplace, it is very important sometimes to decide quickly. Right? Not just sometimes, all the time. It is always recommendable to decide quickly so you can gain inefficiency you can lose you, you you can gain money you can gain market share and you can make money another thing where workforce 
management is very important, especially when it comes to time and attendance, is that you can deliver, you can check all these things on the cloud. This is why you want to go with HR software because the modern, the, the, the latest in HR software trends go for a cloud platform. So whatever you are, regardless of the size of your company, you can access that data on the cloud and you can really see how your workforce is actually uh, performing. Another thing that is very important when it comes to time and attendance is that you have the automation of processes helps decrease the payroll mistakes right this is very easy to use so that you can you can track your payroll processes and reduce mistakes so you don't overpay an employee or you don't even lose time on you know hiring or you know hiring or promoting people so you have you, you can have a lot of vendors offers features that allow employees to see intuitive features and you know um, automatic recommendations for instance you are able to tell your managers to determine which time of request to approve or deny right you also have something called proactive compliance whereby you basically use the tool to avoid costly overtime this is very important especially if you manage a team that that runs in the tens or the hundreds right you want to avoid things like missed punches and you want to get real-time alert that lets you act before problems occurred. Another thing that is very important when it comes to time and attendance is that with HR software, you can track time and manage policies from a single automated platform so that you are always ready for audits. Again, this is very key depending on your industry. If you are in an industry that is highly regulated, let's say you get you know, uh, you get occasional and sudden visits by state authorities. You want to get ready, for instance, you know, let's say, for instance, you work in a medical field, right? Or you work in, in the industrial sector and you might get inspections by OSHA, for example. OSHA stands for Occupational Safety, um, of Occupational Safety and Health Agency. You want to basically be ready. You want to get ready when those OSHA inspectors are showing up so you have the, the, the proper uh, the proper paper trail to show that your your workforce your employees are safe they have the, the right safety gear they have the right uh, the right uh, time and attendance uh, processor uh, processes around them you are following the right overtime protocols for example so HR software allows you to do all these things in time and attendance I'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, folks. We are continuing our trip around HR management software and how great this software is. This is this is uh, this is a biggie, folks. The second thing that is very important when it comes to HR management software for small businesses is something called employee scheduling. Now, a lot of small businesses are thinking, you know, we don't need this, but there is a reason why the, the, the Forbes 100 best small businesses are using HR management software. They use it for employee scheduling. Now, this is very important. Why? Because it allows you to have a precise forecast. You know, you can, you can forecast the, the, the resources you need for a specific project so that you're not falling behind. Or, or just being you know being ahead you don't have cost overruns you don't have inefficiency losses you don't have a productivity misses those things are important right so you learn you the, the software allows you to learn from the data as time goes by so you can apply better forecasting you know over and over and over this is very important because every info every info that you input in the in the software allows you to pr predict, to anticipate, and to measure the impact of the work on the overall value chain, on your company's overall value chain. Now, no matter what vendor you get, you know, because I'm not really here to endorse any particular vendor, but I'm just saying that the latest, the latest HR management software has all the functionalities that allow you to do employee scheduling and forecasting. Now, you can also use the tool to empower your employees with something called self-service. 
right they even have uh, some some software programs even have something called mobile scheduling so your employees no matter where they are again you know we live in a globalized environment a lot of companies here yeah, even if they are small a lot of companies are scattered in multiple places right so your staff could be somewhere in uh, in arizona or new york or or in the manitoba in the manitoba pro province of canada and with mobile scheduling you can control their work you can schedule them for for more work or less work depending on the operational requirements okay another thing that is very important when it comes to employee scheduling is that you can break down very convoluted very complicated scheduling down to a very simple process with hr management software because the 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 software usually has rules and properties and functions and functionalities and features that allow you to manage those when you know anything that is complicated you can break it down in a very simple way and it starts with something called smart schedule smart schedules are automated and what it does is that it aligns the labor to the demand right so if you are in a high season and you need more labor you can schedule more employees and if you know things are slow you know the factories are closing or we are just you know there is some operational lethargy if things are not picking up then you can align again the the labor to the reduced demand right you can also use employee scheduling that feature in hr management software to do something that is that allows you to comply with laws right to to comply with labor rules and regulations you can also use that part that part of the system to do what to increase productivity so you you sort of trigger employee engagement and productivity through more balanced workloads so people don't have to work one week 40 hours or 45 hours and then and the following week 25 hours so what you do is you sort of balance your balance pretty well and you know neat and nice you balance the work across the board so people work say 35 hours consistently over several weeks and there are no ups and downs right one thing you also want to do is that you want to give through hr management software you want to give access you want to give full visibility to all your employees regardless of hierarchy right because you want them to know you want your subordinates for, for instance to know what the superiors how busy the superiors are and vice versa by doing that you create a larger a, a better collaboration collaborative spirit across your team and this is something that uh, we've seen a lot while investigating for this show our production team has seen it that a lot of smart businesses especially those super duper multi-millionaire entrepreneurs those who own multiple companies what they have is they have one hr management software that really controls everything across the board so as a matter of fact we have a guy in california we have a multi-millionaire um, in silicon valley who owns 23 companies 23 folks he owns 23 companies he's a serial entrepreneur and what he does is he used the hr management software that he has you know like a, a unified platform he uses that to control scheduling across the board and he gives visibility to all his uh, his staff so that senior staff can see what low uh, what the lower staff is doing and lower staff can see can see in some cases what senior staff is doing this collaborative collaborative uh, environment has worked perfectly for our multimillionaire because he is able to to um, balance tasks across the board from company to company right and this is what you really want to do also with hr software now i'll be right back right after this Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic and that you are en enjoying this kind of show. We love talking about HR management software. Today's show is about HR management software, how to bet, how to use the tool to better control your your, your employees, to be, not control employees, but to, be, to to empower your employees, right? Because we're not trying to have any big brother sort of uh, <laughs> sort of system here. But the, the goal here is to 
empower the employees to you know help them improve their productivity increase their their efficiency right so i want I, i'm currently talking to you about workforce management and i talked about time and attendance and now i'm talking about employee scheduling now the third thing i want to talk about is analytics now this is big folks this is really big before i even talk about analytics i want to give a, a quick f- shout out to some of our you know beautiful and lovely fans and, and, and viewers and listeners in the united states and canada and and, and across the whole world charles king in Kingston, tennessee thank you charlie we really appreciate it chris davidson in jonesboro tennessee thanks chris for your, for your support Saris Robertson in Fayetteville in Tennessee. Thank you so much, Saris, for your support. We bless you. We bless your families. We love you. And if you just, um, if you are just joining us in this show, please consider subscribing. We love talking about business. We love empowering small business owners to uh, to make more money, to gain market share. If you like the kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. We drop beautiful gems of of uh, content every day. And um, please turn on the notification bell so you are alerted whenever a new a new show is released. And consider liking the show if you if you think the content is uh, valid. Share it with people who might enjoy it and comment below. Let us know your your opinion, your tips, your tricks about HR management software. Now let's get into analytics here. Now with HR management software you are able to analyze real-time data and you can access all your operational data this is very important because the the tool allows you now um i'm talking across the board right any hr management software will, will have tools that allow you to display the, the data in an excel format right excel like format so you can sort things around you can filter you can group at any level of detail this is very important because if you're managing a multinational uh, group a large group of folks you want to have this sort of level right the, the sort of de- detail so you can have charts and graphs you know so you want to easily create charts and graphs you want to visualize the data you want to drill down into fur you know into further analysis you want to even export right the data into other programs another thing analytics allows you to do is that you can get some actionable insights and you can get that data and and pass it on to your managers via interactive reports that include things like conditional formatting right general formatting priority formatting so you can highlight through that formatting where issues and opportunities exist now this is very important again because if you're working on a project and the project involves various people from various um, locations you want to rely on analytics and specifically something called ad hoc reporting because ad hoc reporting capabilities simplify right they simplify access and analysis for business users this is very important now my favorite part of uh, you know hr management software especially when it comes to analytics is the real-time kpis now real-time kpis is very important what is kpi kpi stands for key performance indicators this is something now this is something that you should have indicated at the beginning of the project or you you it can be part of your operational uh, operational strategy every month every quarter or every six months or every year doesn't matter it it's up to you you choose the timeline but real-time kpis help a variety of stakeholders you know be productive for instance managers hr leaders business analysts suppliers everybody that who is involved in your value chain will gain insight into your organization's performance and they can they can compare that against business goals and objectives by doing that they are doing what they are doing what specialists called variance analysis now variance analysis is very simple this is when you compare the actual result versus the expectations right so if you have negative variance or positive variance you can choose to adjust certain things you can shift things around in, in order to be more productive now by doing this sort of uh, various analysis and by using real 
real-time KPIs, you are able to see threshold alerts, you know, for such issues such as for such issues as overtime, labor cost, and hours worked, right? So KPIs, targets, and thresholds, you can easily view them, filter them, you know, export them, go through, uh, you know, you can measure them, you can visualize them in a very actionable form. So by doing that, what you're trying to do here is that you are trying to use the embedded analytics, right, to pass on info to everybody across the board. Again, here, what we're talking about here is we want to have a collaborative environment so that senior managers and uh, lower level staff can collaborate in order to address key workforce challenges in real time and again the workforce challenges can be things like overtime turnover low employee morale and so on and so forth okay so this is really one thing we are trying to we are trying to uh, avoid here and that's you know overtime and low low employee morale now you have to understand why am i talking about hr management software in the 21st century this is getting more important than ever don't ignore this folks all all the big companies are using it. all the small companies that are becoming big have used it so because you have you know unprecedented business insight is making hr management software and very very a key tool why because right now you probably have data your 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 personnel your hr data is scattered around there is no consolidated place now if you don't have anything consolidated your existing systems cannot provide the data access and the reporting capabilities you need for deeper business insights and better business outcomes so if you want to control your labor cost if you want to reduce compliance risk if you want to imp improve workforce productivity, you need to have that analytics embedded in your HR management software. All right, I will be right back right after this. Welcome back folks. We are still talking about HR management software. If you just uh, are wondering what we're talking about, if you just joined the show, I just want to quickly give things let me put things in perspective for you. Today, I am sharing, sharing a big idea. I'm telling you how thousands of super successful entrepreneurs, small businesses, and large companies are using a simple tool to find, attract, and retain smart and ambitious employees. This tool is called Human Resources Management Software or Human Resources Information System. From employee data management to payroll, recruitments, benefits, training, talent management, employee engagement, and employee attendance, HR software helps companies big and small as well as HR professionals manage the modern workforce. Now, this show is a beginner's tutorial on using HR management software to disaster-proof your small business, save money fast, hire incredible talent, and optimize your human capital management, labor analytics, online payroll services, and workforce performance. So as you can probably, as, as you've noticed here, we have, we are talking about first workforce management. And under the umbrella of workforce management, I have already told you about what? Time and attendance, that's number one. Employee scheduling, that's number two. Analytics, that's number three. Now let's attack a very important element that's absence management, right? Nobody wants their, their staff to always be absent. That's, lo that's loss of money. That leads to uh, low, uh, you know, low morale within the, uh, the, uh, the colleagues. You also have attrition. So we want to really sort of kill their risk, right? We want to mitigate it. <laughs> not kill. <laughs> we want to mitigate, not kill. No kill, kill. Mitigation. Now, when it comes to absence management, HR management systems allows you to better manage employee absence. So what that, what, what, what that does is if you're able to better handle and oversee employee absence, 
you are lowering your cost and you are increasing productivity. Why? Because you can rebalance the workload. If one person is about to leave, the system will tell you right away where you have capacity and where you have overload. So by look, so by playing around, you know, capacity and overload, you can rebalance work across your staff. You can easy access data. So when you have access to the data, you can better manage, you know, absence. One thing that is very important with the HR management system here is that you you are getting some kind of flexibility to work your way. So the system usually you can customize that based on your industry. So it, so it basically allows you to know how to you know uh, let, let's say for instance you're working somewhere in New York right and you have to go to Jersey you have to send your staff to Jersey to New Jersey or send your uh, send your staff to uh, to Connecticut for instance. Now with the absence management feature of HR management software you are able to see who who is absent on a specific date and you can rebalance the work and say okay those people who are working in Connecticut please today don't travel to Connecticut stay in New York because we have extra capacity here we have we have workload here to, to fill and uh, you know stay in New York and what you want to do is that you want to lower the priority of the the New Jersey or the Connecticut side so that you can balance overall your team's performance another thing is that you gain a deeper visibility into the attendance and the lead data so that you can comply more you know more effectively now this is very important if you if you operate let's say you operate in a highly regulated industry you know, earlier on, I took the example of OSHA. If you work in the medical field and you are regulated by the FTA or the DEA, right? And you want to, you need to keep track of your employees' absences and leave data, you know, either attendance and leave data. By having all that data, all that information inputted ASAP and immediately in real time into a software system, a software that into a software um, uh, platform that is linked to the cloud. The authorities can have access to that data without even you giving it to them, right? So that saves you time. They don't have to be on site to to uh, to verify these things unless they want to. But by having the link between your HR data and the cloud. And the government having access to that cloud, you can basically share the data and comply. So you are in compliance. You save money. You save nightmares, legal and regulatory nightmares. You save money on fines and, and penalties and some kind of reputation. You know, you really, really, really save a lot of money. So this is something you need to think about. Now, automated absence management on any device, desktop, laptop, tablets, mobile helps maintain productivity because you manage these things across several devices so you you know in real time what's really happening and the way the system does is it's very simple right it it managed proactively so it doesn't wait for the the problem to arise it, it sends you alerts or it sends alerts to your to your to your to your managers to your senior managers it generates documents automatically which is another biggie here because the last thing you want is to you know manually uh, type things and really manually uh, produce documents so it is automatic and you can more, more important you the system allows you to, to determine eligibility so you can know if an employee wants to uh, you know take some time off for sick time vacation this kind of stuff the system will, will automatically determine whether or not this employee qualifies for the benefits they are asking for and this is very important i will be right back right after this <laughs> welcome back folks to uh the, another section of this wonderful show called the sweetie kiwi show <laughs> <laughs> we are the world's largest infotain infotainment show we do a lot of shows on information and entertainment, but today we are talking about something serious here, and that's the informative part of uh, our content uh, content spectrum. 
So we are talking about something serious. This is HR management system, right? We want to teach you how to use HR software to make more money, to optimize productivity across the board in your company, to retain, to attract, retain, and, uh, and, and promote incredible talent within your team. This is very important. So let's get into it. Now, the last thing I want to talk to you about when it comes to workforce management, again, the first part of this show will cover something called workforce management in the context of HR software. So I already covered, already had a conversation on time and attendance and employee scheduling, analytics, absence management. Now, I want to talk about labor activities. Now, the you know, it is very important to understand labor activities and how the system allows you to to monitor labor activities. So you have operational synergy, operational harmony across the board and across your company's value chain. With proper HR management software, you are able to automate staff tracking and this stat tracking allows you to ultimately streamline data and information into one portal and that portal can be shared across the board across the hr department in your company across senior managers who are on site you can share their data if you are if you need to with uh, the, with the authorities to uh, to pass muster when it comes to compliance and this is this is a very important important um, feature again especially if you are in an area in a field that falls uh, that is very that is, that is highly regulated with the software you also have full workforce visibility and by having this visibility you can react in real time right you can identify and deploy your most productive employees right because we are talking here about labor activities so if you find that some employees have capacity in other words they have free time but they're not productive you're not going to deploy them right you are probably are going to deploy them on other fields but if you have some employees that are, that are super duper productive you can deploy them in the most urgent most urgent sites and this is very important this is because by doing that you are able to to reach profitability you are able to save money to make money by delivering the projects you know early by delivering the products early and there are four key goals that you need to think about when managing your labor activities especially if you don't have a tool which is why I'm encouraging you to look into that to look into an HR software tool to help you get the most out of your team now therefore there are some four there are some key goals here the first key goal is that when you manage your uh, your team and your labor activities you want to get accurate staffing you want to get on the spot insight into a project status you want to know where they are what's really happening you know who is making what when where and uh, how they're making it because if you don't have insight into your project status you will be having overstaffing and control staffing cost and those two can cost you a lot depending on the the contract the work you're doing so you really want to pay attention to those two things accurate staffing is one the second one is uh, this the second goal you need you want to actually trying to achieve is automation because fully automated staff tracking streamlines the data and information you need into one portal here again what we're trying to achieve is operational synergy so you want to you know whenever possible you want to streamline everything into one single portal you know gone are the days where small business owners have to log out and log into multiple multiple platforms to be able to track their employees uh, productivity to 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 track the, you know labor activities across their value chain and that kind of stuff today nowadays in the era of the the cloud you are able to track everything from one single portal another goal you want to use hr software for is productivity right productivity allows you to gain market share to save money to optimize efficiency 
but also helps you put the right people with the right skills in the right place. Because that's what that's what boosts productivity. Let me repeat that. Productivity means that you are putting the right people with the right skills in the right place. Right? So if you have the if you have the proper talent doing the proper job at the right time, chances are you are going to get the job done quicker. And that's what we want. We want productivity across the board, right? That's what you want, right? <laughs> That's what I, I'm sure that's what you want. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. <laughs> so this is very important. And, and, and the last thing here is that accountability. Accountability means that you have a comprehensive step-by-step -step reporting that helps you track labor and production. So labor and production across all your business sites, you are able to to. To get a uh, to get a hint as to what's really going on, and you can make adjustments on the spot. Now, this is very important, folks. So, you know, again, when it comes to labor activities, make sure you understand the four key goals: staffing, automation, productivity, and, and accountability. Speaking of which, we want to we want to give a shout out to um, someone in Texas who is who is very good at uh, labor activity and, and software management, William Wallace. In Pleasant Hill, Texas. Thank you so much for for being a great fan and listener and, and viewer. So William Wallace in Pleasant Hill, Texas. We have Robin Foster in Roma Los Science, and that is, that's in um, in Science, sorry, Texas, and Esme Marshall in Buenos. That's also in the beautiful state of Texas, the Lone State. Now we'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, folks, to another section of Sweetie Kiwi Show. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic, and I hope you are doing marvelous. We are talking about HR management software, how to use the tool to advance, how to to uh, to boost productivity, to make more money, to hire the right staff. In the first section of this show, I have talked to you about workforce management, and I and I covered time and attendance how the tool allows you to 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 optimize time and attendance employee scheduling and analytics absence management and labor activities now in the second section i want to cover human capital management how the tool the hr the human resource management software allows you to optimize and monitor your human capital management so it's very important to to distinguish between workforce management and human capital management because workforce is more about the the uh, the, the nitty-gritty of the work itself you know things like labor things like you know who is uh, in who is uh, who is absent who is uh, you know analytics attendance employee scheduling that kind of stuff now workforce management is what i just said now, human capital management talks, you know, think, you know, talks more about things like hiring, you know, benefits, administration, onboarding, that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's quickly jump it right into it. The first part, the first part is is benefits administration. With the proper HR software tool, you can really, you know, manage the benefits your your staff's benefits better because the tool comes with uh, benefit self-service self tools for employees, by the way. And the thing is that the, the features encompass an intuitive, personalized experience for employees. And this allows them to do what? To shop and sign up for benefits through very, you know, a very easy, consumer-friendly mobile proce uh, process, right? So you can do these things either desktop or, or mobile and the good thing is that the HR teams can even create and deliver custom communications to specific groups to remind employees to take benefits actions. This is very important when you hire someone, right? When you hire someone, the, the very first few days you want to send them some uh, some reminders, some uh, communications to make sure that they are 
you know, signing up for things that are important in accordance with the company's rules. And while doing this, you know, the HR teams can also ensure that proper business rules are enforced, right? Another thing is that your HR teams can use the benefits administration feature in an HR software to streamline task and empower all step to get things done in the fewest steps possible because we want to save time we want to to do things in in uh in a, in a you know a very efficient manner so the thing here is that by having this benefits administration feature in an hr management software you are able to get the job done in the fewest steps possible now another thing that is very important here is that you can you also have benefits compliance tools embedded in the in the hr software and this is very important folks why because you want to give the last thing you want is to get the last thing you want is to get some penalties from the irs so you want to give the, your hr teams automated tools to help them better manage benefits compliance to avoid potential penalties and unnecessary legal cost so you can you know you, you have the right tool to automatically measure employee hours things like things like employee hours hours worked over time and you can create and distribute irs forms to meet you know the aca requirements this is very important so this is another thing now when it comes to regulation you also want to automate the tracking of cobra qualifying events and, el and eligibility right such as you want to manage enrollments you want to transfer information to benefits carriers now what is cobra you know cobra is a big word I mean, it's just an acronym that stands for consolidated omnibus budget reconciliation acts yeah this is just uh, you, you know congress loves to have a lot of beautiful acronyms that sometimes don't mean anything right <laughs> don't tell them i said that bro I never said that. I was just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So COBRA stands for, again, COBRA stands for Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act. And basically what it is, is it is a federal law, right, that allows you and any of your immediate family members to stay on, a, on an uh, employer-sponsored health plan under certain circumstances. You know, and these are the circumstances. If you lose or quit your job, if you divorce the employee, if the employee dies, or you are no longer covered as an as a dependent due to your age, the federal law allows you and any of your immediate family members to stay on an employer-sponsored health plan under those circumstances. Now, remember that basically, you know, COBRA does not apply to anyone, and sometimes it can be very expensive, right? Now, we'll, we'll cover COBRA deeper in another show. As a matter of fact, we have a, another sh a beautiful show coming up uh, very soon. And then we'll talk about COBRA and uh, ACA, all this kind of uh, all those rules around HR management. So you want to really uh, be on the lookout for that and uh, listen to it as, as soon as it comes out. We will be right back right after this. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. <laughs> I'm just very happy to still see you around, and I hope that you are learning something. You are learning uh, a lot, actually, uh, about HR management software and how to use the software to to get ahead, to manage your small business better, to manage staff, to save money, to save time, to save resources. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to our channel. We uh, release content every single day, sometimes more than twice or three times if we are inspired or if we had a lot of coffee <laughs> <laughs> or tea. <laughs> so subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you are informed whenever we release new content. Also, please feel free to like our, 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 our show, share the content and comment below. Give us your opinion about HR management software tell us the pros and cons we'll try to cover a lot here but give us your, your your input and also please watch our ads the ads that we serve through the, the you know the, every show 
we are an ad supported team this is this channel is ad supported we use the proceeds of ad revenue to uh, to pay for our production team to expand the team to investigate new topics to um, to travel to do production all the kind of production work and to bring you ultimately free high quality content so we appreciate you watching the ads now what are we talking about for those who just joined the show you know what i'm trying to do here is that i'm trying to share a big idea i'm telling viewers and listeners and our fans how thousands of super successful entrepreneurs small businesses and large companies are using a simple tool to find attract and retain smart and ambitious employees this tool is called human resources management software hrms or human resources information systems hris now from employee data management to payroll recruitment benefits training talent management employee engagement and employee attendance hr software helps companies big and small as well as hr professionals manage the modern workforce this show that you are listening to is a beginner's tutorial on using hr management software to dis to disaster proof your small business save money fast hire incredible talent and optimize your human capital management labor analytics online payroll services and workforce performance now as you can see this is an all-in beginner's tutorial that is intended to be easy peasy easy peasy lemon squeezy right i think i kind of like that easy peasy lemon squeezy El -pa 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 -pa. <laughs> right. now, in the first section of this show i talked about workforce management right and under workforce management we had five key key criteria five key criteria sorry now you have time and attendance employee scheduling analytics absence management and labor activities now in the second section i'm talking now about human capital management i already covered benefits administration and talent acquisition no i have not covered talent acquisition yet so now talent acquisition is the number seven criterion when it comes to human capital management but before i do that let me quickly give a shout out to uh, nicholas hill in minusville utah frankie robertson in fremont utah and shannon burn in harrisville utah so nicholas hill frankie robertson and shannon H shannon burn in utah we love you we thank you for uh, for everything thank you so much now let's talk about talent acquisition you can use HR management software to acquire talent. What you want to do is you want your small business to stand apart from other employers with by having what by having it by having a very easy application process. You can monitor every stage of the recruiting process through HR management software. By being able to monitor every stage of the recruiting process, you can identify promising talent, right? You can identify professionals, applicants who are very in sync with what you want, what you're looking for. And by having this confidence, you can make informed hiring decisions. And this is very key, right? Because the last thing you want is, is to, to make mistakes during the hire, the hire you know, step. You don't want to have any problem. You don't want to have any problem later on after hiring the wrong employee, right? You want to make sure that it is a, is a win-win. There is a perfect match that the employee wants to work for you and she or he, you also want to work with him or her, right? It is very important. So the thing here is that by using the right HR management, management tool, you can communicate smartly with all stakeholders. And by stakeholders, I'm talking about candidates, HR managers, department managers, staffing agencies, regulators, and senior management, right? And, and how do you do that? You do this through five things. You can automate recruiting. 
right? Automated recruiting allows you to increase efficiency and cut on unnecessary stuff. For instance, outdated, ba uh, outdated paper-based processes, right? You can also, that's the second thing, you can make applying easier. The good thing is that with the software, you can keep candidates engaged in the application process with easy search functions. They can uh, upload their resume, they can they can adjust their resume, they can edit it, they can change things around, they can access their own application and, and check in real time the status of that application. Another thing is that you can quickly zero in on the best fit candidates right and what and the way you kind of get it done is you have pre-screening questions you know you ask them about the, the you know the you know if you have data about your current workforce you can use surveys to 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 get the morale of the employees at the present moment and incorporate that in questions in pre-screening questions that that you know applicants will have to answer and by answering that you can hire with confidence because you would know who really fits within the uh, your company the fourth thing you need to know here is that there is something called you know pre-hire communication the thing is if you identified employees who you believe are best fit you need to keep them engaged until you finish the process so you keep them engaged with automated notifications and customizable email communications and this is very important especially if you are working on a project and you want to hire mass massively you know you have you have to hire people massively and quickly you want to have this pre-hire communication feature and you want to know how to use it and the last thing here is that you want to have a job board integration so you can put your position whatever position you are advertising for you want to put your position in front of candidates on your career website and and this is very important you know hundreds if not thousands of job boards you want to you know push your position simultaneously and that's the keyword here this is the keyword folks simultaneous you don't want to do things manually you want to push once and for all you want to put your position in front of candidates on your website and more than 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 job boards. All right, we will be right back right after this. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. We are still around. We were talking about HR management software and uh, the beauty of that software and what it does, how it can help you uh, get ahead. This is very important. We want our we want our viewers to to succeed. We want business owners who are listening to us to to get ahead. And um, now I want to talk to you about onboarding. Why HR management software? Why the tool is so is so insanely effective when it comes to onboarding? Now I'm talking about onboarding in the sense of when you bring a new employee on board, right? You are hiring someone and you want to you know make them comfortable make, make them integrate your company with ease now hr management software especially the the section called human capital management and again here we're not talking about any specific provider here because the latest software tools all encompass the things i'm talking about in this show so if you reach out to a vendor ask them whether or not they have those things I'm talking about, and I'm sure they do. Most of them will have, especially the, the, the prominent ones, though the you know the big ones have those those tools. So with the with HR management software, you can quickly hire, engage, and retain your workforce from pre-hire to retire. Check this out. This is this is fantastic. From pre-hire to retire, you can engage, retain, you can manage them. You can uh, you can excite them, you can incentivize them, right? And this is what you really want to get. You want to be in a position where you can do that. Another thing you want to do is that you want to minimize you want to minimize uh, reporting complexities. This is very important because HR, the tool, offers one employee record. 
so that you don't have to juggle multiple reporting complexities you only have to handle one and this can really cut down on the, the amount of time waste wasted money wasted and resource wasted so you can store and track all employee data from a single location and provide reports that deliver real-time information real-time data to executive teams to the senior to your to your project managers to senior managers to and and even to project managers and you do this because you want to accelerate the time it takes for the time it takes to reach a better decision making stage okay and another thing you want to use uh, on boarding for is you want to eliminate time consuming inaccurate manual processes this is the, this is very key because you want to be in a position where your hr department can automate routine tasks such as things like you know benefits open enrollment performance management performance evaluation this kind of stuff and by doing that by you know paying attention to those workflows what i call operationally critical workflows by being able to monitor those workflows you 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 give the power and visibility to your hr department allowing them to manage tasks and schedules in a very efficient way especially those tasks and schedules that are related to things like promotion termination new hires job requisition everything that that has to do with onboarding right so you want to streamline ultimately those operationally critical processes so that your team can deliver consistent policy enforcement all aim you want them to de to deliver this sort of consistency consistency when it comes to policy enforcement across the value chain right and another thing also is that you want to not only enforce policy enforcement you want to enforce regulatory compliance and, and i'm talking about regu regulatory compliance on things like cobra as I, I spoke about cobra before you have something called flsa this is the fair labor standards act the aca the affordable care act now i've talked about this before and i said we are we are working on a show just to cover those topics those important topics in more detail all right now there are three things you want to focus on when it comes to onboarding you want to use the tool you want to use the hr management tool to do what and this is and again again folks this is something that a lot of employ a lot of a very successful super duper successful small businesses are using right now they use the tool to increase engagement and drive productivity right they use the tool to deliver administrative accuracy and operational synergy they also use the tool to boost efficiency so by doing that they are able to attain productivity across the board because they are able to minimize errors provide consistency with one solution for all employee records and most importantly HR functions they are also able to do one thing that is very important which is that they can drive results with streamlined processes and self-service tools all of that managed from a cloud-based system this is very key we are now in the era of cloud of the cloud I'm not talking about the cloud you know the rainbow and everything <laughs> no I'm referring here to the cloud that has to do with uh, your storage, your backup, your your data security, your encryption methods. I'm talking about the hybrid cloud. And most vendors nowadays have cutting edge technology that allows them to deploy, you know, the, the human resources management software from, from the cloud and onto the cloud, right? So you have that duality, duality between in terms of destination so you know instead of having on-premise on-premises hr management systems you move from on-prem to cloud i will be right back right after this <laughs> welcome back dear dear love dear uh, viewers and listeners and uh, fans across the world we really appreciate 
you're sticking with us this has been a fantastic ride so far a wonderful conversation i'm still here talking about hr management software and before I, I move even further i want to talk about i want to give a shout out i love giving shout outs and i just love the word shout out shout out shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> so a shout out to jake jenkins in west Pollock. that's in vermont want to give another shout out to Hidden Patel and he is in Chelsea, Vermont and Anna Davidson in Arisburg, Vermont Anna Davidson, Hidden Patel, Jake Jenkins thank you so much for your support we love you, we bless your, your families, your respective families thanks for listening to us and keep, keep on listening, keep on listening we like that, we like being listened to <laughs> yeah. talent management this is another one. Uh, this is a big one, by the way. When it comes to talent management, there are two, two parts. You have performance management, and you know if you manage people, chances are you need to pay them, right? You gotta pay them. So you have compensation management, and this is something that, you know, again we have researched a lot of tools while preparing for this show, and we found that HR management software is incredibly good incredibly good at helping a small business manage their talents through performance management and compensation management now let me first start with performance management by using the tool you can use the tool to get continuous feedback on each employee and by providing that and by you know passing on passing that continuous feedback on to the employee you can motivate exceptional employee performance because think about it think about it you know you are telling your employee hey listen you are doing a good job you know i love what you're doing and you're telling your employees once a week or once every two weeks this is this is a morale booster this is this is a deal maker it allows it allows your employees to feel empowered people are happy early in the morning to go to work right they don't feel lethargic they don't feel lazy they don't drag their feet they are a 7 a.m on spot on site Try, you know being ready to work for you because you are providing feedback real time and continuously now the, the good part of this is if an employee is falling behind you can tell them and you can you can fix the issue you can fix what you know whatever causes the laziness or the lack of productivity or the lethargy the the uh, the uh, operational lethargy you can fix that you know uh, quickly and earlier as opposed to waiting until the end of the, the end of the year and surprising them with a with a D performance evaluation or an F, right? You can also use the tool, and this is what we've seen a lot of s smart and very ambitious entrepreneurs. They are using the tool, the HR management tool, to ensure a consistent performance review process across the board. So if you have, you know, multiple departments. You know, you're trying to establish a fair process and, you know, a fair performance review process and you want the process to also be consistent. One thing you also want to do is that, you know, with, with an HR management software, you are able to build performance review profiles for each employee or job. So, for instance, you know, let's say you have 10 job categories in a project, you can construct performance review profiles across the job or for each employee and that helps you a lot because if you know for you to to provide feedback continuously you got to have some kind of profile you got to have some you got to have some kind of data points some kind of data data uh, spot to dig into to delve into and that would allow you to know exactly what is happening you know whom whom to trust whom not to trust whom to boost and whom to um, you know whom to call in the uh, in the big office for a an update on their performance right you can also use hr man management system especially when it comes to um to performance management you can use this the tool to take a proactive approach 
to employee development and succession planning. This is very important, folks, right? Because you want to develop your uh, your employees. You want your employees to be promoted every two, three years, depending upon the position. You want to empower them. You want to train them. So the tool allows you to devise a foundational strategy that you can apply across the board in all departments to boost employee development and succession planning right so when it comes to performance management there are a few a few things you need to uh, focus on now where are they you want to focus on defining and aligning your goals right so let's say for instance you work your team has a global profile so people are in various locations and you probably have a meeting once a, once a week, Monday morning or Tuesday morning, right? With a with an HR management tool, you can identify cascading goals and you can monitor performance at the corporate, group, team, and individual levels. This is huge, right? You can also use the tool to nurture an engaged workforce. So what you do is by actually providing, as I said earlier, by providing continuously feedback, you are increasing employee retention, which is really bad because, which, which is really good, not bad, <laughs> which is really good because by doing that, you are able to lower attrition and lower attrition. The cascading effect here, the, the dominant effect is that you are empowering managers to also monitor goals and, pro and provide what? provide continuous feedback because if they know that people are going to stick around employees are going to, are going to stick to stick around for a long time they are also empowered to provide more continuous feedback as opposed to people come for three months or two months and they're gone the next day right you don't want that you also want to with the, the tool you can go paperless right we want to save the environment we want to save a tree or two or three or four <laughs> right so we want to go paperless so you can eliminate time consuming and error prone paper based HR processes like for instance benefits you know attendance tracking uh, things like um, you know things like um, you also have some IRA, uh, you know some tax tax processes for instance you know uh, 401k signups IRA Roth IRA that kind of stuff those could be error-prone, paper-based HR processes. You also want to focus on succession planning, right? So the thing here is that you can use the HR management tool to, to create customizable reports that would allow you to proactively monitor certifications and skills development. And you can notify managers about who needs training and when for succession planning. And in addition to that, you can also align pay with performance, which is very key. We'll talk about compensation in the next section, but here I just want to say that you can use a tool to manage your talent, specifically around performance, you know, whereby you define the rules for, for performance and you align the performance-based pay while clearly outlining the performance rating and the pay grade segments this will make your 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 your, your staff members very comfortable because they know the rules they know that if they perform they are making money or they will be they will be promoted so this sort of creates an environment of full transparency and integrity and this is key you know to gain market share to retain employees to make more money to generate more revenues to optimize HR processes. I will be right back right after this. Welcome back folks. We are still talking about talent management, right? In the first in the last section I was talking to you about um, about performance management. Now I want to talk to you about compensation management, which is another very important very important um, topic here. Now if you have the proper HR management tool, you can manage your entire composition cycle with ease. And think about it. You have a clear idea of your composition cycle, of your, val of your value cycle also. Uh, the value chain and how those two 
interact, right? Your value chain and your compensation cycle. So you know which employees are important, which you know which employees are, you know, what I call the power boosters, the, the highly performing employees, and you can compensate them appropriately. But before you can compensate them, you, can, you need to define through the tool your budget for all compensation cycles, right? And by having the proper tool, you, you not only gain efficiency, you are able to advance faster. So you get efficiencies through the entire compensation process, right? So who gets paid what, when, what does, you know, the, the pay entail? Is it just a you know, increase in the base salary or a bonus? or some kind of um, incentive, some kind of, uh, you know, give away, whatever. Whatever it is, you want to have a clear idea of what your compensation cycles entail. And there is no better tool today than an HR management tool because all the big companies are using it. All the small companies that are making it are also using it. You know, the companies that are making a killing in the market in terms of you know making money getting market share they have got they've gotten a, a, a solid grip on their hr systems through their use of the tool another thing that i want to to really emphasize here is that if you have a single integrated management software or program it makes compensation planning very easy because now gone are the times when you have to juggle again multiple platforms multiple systems multiple software systems multiple uh, multiple um, um, settings and features just to get to the compensation planning level so the hr management tool allows you to unify that allows you to have a uniform platform where you can do all that work now there are a few things you want to focus on when it comes to compensation management through an HR management system. You want to streamline the processes for compensation planning, right? You, and you want to do that through, you know, and, and you know, in each systems, in each software, you have things like workflows, you know, you have automated tools, and those help reduce the administrative burden. You also want to gain critical visibility into every phase of your compensation planning particularly if you are dealing with uh, if you are ha if you are in an industry that is regulated because some industries have some pay caps or some pay floors so you have to pay people a minimum a minimum amount of money if you want to increase if you want to boost their salary you have to boost it by a certain amounts that is usually tied to inflation you know it has to be three percent or two percent or five percent you know so you want to gain critical visibility into every phase of the compensation side of compensation planning another thing you want to do here is that by using the um, the hr tool the hr management tool properly you can automate enforcement of compensation guidelines and you do so by improving and helping enforce the corporate governance so whatever your company has in terms of whatever rules whatever edicts whatever directives your, your company's senior management has approved when it comes to compensation you can actually automate that through the HR management tool and another thing you want to do here is that you want to use the tool to make more informed compensation decisions right and how do you do that you align your planned compensation increases with your corporate wide compensation strategy so you know people in one department for instance let's say in the purchasing department they're not jealous they're not envious because people in the uh, logistics department are making more money you want to align things you know to make sure that the compensation increases are applicable to your corporate wide compensation strategy and this is the key to keeping employee morale high I'll be right back right after this. Welcome back, folks. If you are following us, we are happy to have you. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the show so far. That you are finding is very, very valuable, very uh, relevant to your situation. If you are a small business owner and um, you have been using software for a while, HR 
management software please let us know in the comment section give us your your feedback give us your uh, your feel you know your feelings about the software whether it has helped you whether it was not really helpful we want to hear all kinds of story please let us know and if you just uh, love this kind of show this kind of content please consider subscribing to our channel we release content every single day and uh, we uh, you know we want to make sure that you get the latest data ASAP so turn on the notification button so you can be notified ASAP also share this content like it and you know comment below that's the, that's what we said before and you know if you can please we would appreciate it if you could watch the ads that we served during the show because ads help us you know expand our production team conduct research investigations we are able to use the resources that we get through ads to provide you free high quality content so thank you very much I want to give a shout out to Julius Richardson in Brownsburg, Virginia, Jackie Whitehead in Burgess, Virginia, and Kelly Justice in Lake Barcroft in Virginia. Kelly Justice, Jackie Whitehead, and Julius Richardson. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you so much for your tip, for your tips, for your feedback. Again, when I'm talking about tips, I'm not talking about the monetary tips here. <laughs> I wish. Now we are just talking about advice, feedback, questions, topics. You can also, and this is for all viewers and listeners and fans, you can always, um, always suggest new topics for us, and we will cover it if we if we can. If you just join us, please remember that this show. I am sharing a big idea in this show. I want to tell you how thousands of super successful entrepreneurs, small businesses, and large companies are using a simple tool to find, attract, and retain smart and ambitious employees. This tool is called Human Resources Management Software, HRMS, or Human Resources Information Systems, HRIS, from employee data management to payroll, recruitment, benefits, training, talent management, employee engagement, and employee attendance, HR software helps companies big and small as well as HR professionals to manage the modern workforce. This show is a beginner's tutorial on using HR management software to disaster-proof your small business, save money fast, hire incredible talent, and optimize your human capital management, labor and analytics, online payroll services, and workforce performance. Now, I have talked to, to you before about workforce management, so we reviewed things like time and attendance, employee scheduling, analytics, absence management, and labor activities. Now I'm talking about human capital management, and I just covered benefits administration, talent acquisition, onboarding, talent management through two aspects, right? We, want, we, we looked at performance management and we also looked at compensation management. Now I wanna talk about payroll. Now specifically when it comes to payroll, I wanna cover two things. I wanna cover payroll processes and I wanna cover payroll services those are two different things and, and you will you will know why let's first attack payroll processes that's a very nice topic let's attack it right away <laughs> attack, attack, attack. Now, I'm, 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 I'm a very peaceful dude i don't want to be violent so let's just cover the topic we're not attacking the topic <laughs> so payroll processes if you use the you know with there are features in a standard HR management software program or a functionality that allows you to achieve better results by controlling every step of your payroll processes. Now this is very important because you know you want to get you want to gain access to the info when you need it. Anytime you need it, not when it, it is urgent. No, anytime in urgent moments or non-urgent moments, you want to get that. Now, the one thing that is very important is that depending upon the, the size of your business, 
here we, we are giving advice to small and mid-sized businesses but some small businesses can also be, be uh, quote unquote big so you know you can simplify the complexities of payroll while making changes with ease so by doing that you make sure that your payments always reflect the latest info with the tools that help you make that help you more easily modify and manage earning and deduction codes right you want to manage things like deduction codes earnings tax jurisdictions direct deposits check payments and other payroll elements and now this is very important because if you have this sort of tool the HR management system you can quickly view and edit employee payroll info right you can do it individually you can do it as a group or you can do it at the department level right you can if you decide to to give a bonus to or to increase to, to give a raise to all employees in a specific department you can do you can look at it through the payroll process now this process also comes with the with the mobile functionality so you have mobile app and self-service tools that empower employees that emp that empower hr teams right so the good thing is that by implementing that you have the self-service access is very key because it helps save money it helps save time it helps saves a lot of resources because employees ultimately have the power to update things like you know w4 forms they can print w2 forms and even change their direct deposit details if they want to change the, the bank where the money is going to or the number of the, the number of um, of um you know like their status their mar marital status if they are now you know married as opposed to being single that kind of stuff so the number of deductions they want to claim on their uh, based on their um, employee status these things they can do it automatically without going through the hr department so this is very this is very important and this is a huge a huge time saving right so by doing that hr and payroll at you know payroll staff they gain back valuable time to focus on other tasks while employees are empowered to access and update info on their own and this is where you want to move to right you want to empower your employees to get things done themselves and not always rely on hr staff to get it done for them so one thing that is very important here is that you want to focus on that particular aspect of how you can quickly access and leverage critical data right so basically you know especially if your data is you know if your payroll data is continually updated in real time it becomes what it becomes accurate and available when you need it especially when you have to comply with 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 regulations for example when you have to do something around regu regulatory approval you have the data available in real time you can also save time with employee self-service capabilities right when if, if employees can access their own data they can view print you know download pay statements and manage their payments preferences all right i will be right back right after this welcome back folks we are still talking about hr management software and we are talking about the incredible the incredible beauty of that software and what it allows you to do how it saves you money how it boosts your uh, competitive sta uh, stature in the in the market how it allows you to attract hire and retain top talents now i have talked about before about payroll processes we are in the in the section of payroll here and i already talked about payroll processes now i want to talk about payroll services now, if you simplify, if you have, if you use the HR management software, you are able to simplify your payroll tax filing. And think about it. This can give you, can help you give, can help you get great peace of mind, right? If, if, the, if the payroll tax filing is simplified, that means you are making the IRS happy and making yourself happy. So 
the way you do this is that you seem you use the tool to seamlessly integrate your data the lab data to the IRS systems and this provides your team with quarterly updates so that they can send the data to the authorities and they can send it through thousands of local states and federal codes and what it does is it allows your your company to better manage compliance across the board right it doesn't matter if you operate in multiple tax types and jur jurisdictions you always can avoid using the tool you will always avoid computation and filing errors because there are tools embedded that allow you to factor in requirements for multi-state withholdings taxing and re reciprocity as well as taxation wage accumulation right so this is very important another thing that you want to do is you want to simplify and streamline the garnishment pro process right you know if you have an employee who has an issue and uh, you know has some kind of uh, obligation that was uh, decreed by a court of law or the government the federal government or the state government you want to make sure you comply with those things right so you can save time and money while complying with all the different garnishment rules and processes by streamlining the processing of third-party payments again things like tax levies creditor garnishments and child support of course right this is very important another thing that HR management software helps you with is by reducing the printing and distribution costs while also saving time now remember that remember I mean depending upon the uh, depending on the the size of your business remember that the payroll distribution stage can be costly and it's often it's often is um, you know it's often an, an over an overlooked process it's often a very cumbersome process so what you are trying to do here is you want to use the tool to reduce the labor intensiveness of things like printing distribution di distributing checks vouchers for direct deposits and most importantly year-end tax forms such as 1099s and w2 so what you want to do here is that you want to automate the system while while reducing oh you want to automate the system you want to optimize the compliance while reducing the manual input all right one thing you also want to do here is that you can use hr management tools to get greater control of your taxes right so you want to be able to you want to be able to control the filing of your own payroll taxes and you want to understand everything everything around you know on demand payroll tax filing w2 deposit management and tax compliance this is very important folks this is this is really the big deal here and a lot of companies are a lot of small companies are overlooking this but they're doing this at their perils because the big companies are doing it the IRS is has increased uh, enforcement of certain role of certain rules and the top top small businesses of the country the 100 the Forbes 100 top small businesses are implementing this and while doing this they are able to gain more control over costs right they are minimi they are minimizing compliance risk because you have something like payroll tax compliance you know there are a lot of penalties and a lot of um, a lot of uh, yeah, penalties and, and expenses related to tax compliance and if you know the, the the IRS has been known to be very very strict so you want to avoid that and one thing you also do is that you are increasing productivity and efficiencies by relieving the burden on your accounting and IT resources all right so we'll be right back right after this welcome back folks to um, another beautiful section of this show we are about to wrap up here and um, you know before we do if you um, just join us we are talking about HR management software we are reviewing the uh, the goodies that come with that kind of software and the and how it aligns on your workforce management strategy and your human capital management strategy before I go further let me quickly give a, a shout out to Carson Lambert and he is in Colorado, Washington, the state of Washington. 
and Brett Hogan, Mamburi, State of Washington, and Brinley Gregory in West Tukna, that is the State of Washington. We love you. Uh, we bless you. We bless your families. Thank you so much. Let's just quickly do a recap here. So in this conversation, what I had talked about a lot of things, but most importantly, what I tried to do was to share with you a big idea. I told you how thousands of super successful entrepreneurs, small businesses, and large companies are using a simple tool to find, attract, and retain smart and ambitious employees. This tool is called Human Resources Management Software or Human Resources Information Systems from employee data management to payroll, recruitment, benefits, training, talent management, employee management, employee engagement, and employee attendance. HR software helps companies, big and small, as well as HR professionals manage the modern workforce. This show is a beginner's tutorial on using HR management software to disaster-proof your small business, save money fast, hire incredible talent, and optimize your human capital management, labor analytics, online payroll services, and workforce performance. Now, in this show, I was, you know, I talked to you about workforce management, and I talked about time and attendance, employee scheduling, analytics, absence management, and labor activities. And then I moved on to human capital management, and I talked about benefits administration, talent acquisition, onboarding, talent management, and payroll. Now, after talking about that, I just want, just want to quickly give you a call to action because it's very important to anytime we have a show, anytime we talk about a content, we all, always want to boost our viewers, our our listeners, our fans, we want to boost their their self-esteem. We want to help them get ahead. We want to get, help them move ahead. So we are giving you a call to action. Today's call to action is this. Analyze your current HR cycle and value chain. Determine how automation, optimization, and efficiency can boost your HR management. Choose an HR software provider that understands your operational needs. Prioritize cloud-empowered HR functionalities and storage backup settings. Select an HR software provider that offers the following benefits. Improved communication. Greater sc scalability. Paperless system. Automated processes. Increased employee engagement. Complete access control. Smooth salaries and disburs disbursements faster onboarding and recruitment these are the things that allow you that you want to check for because they will make a difference when you run your business in the next five and ten years and twenty years all right so this is it now let's talk about let's wrap up this show and uh, just want to talk about the uh, I want to give you a pro tip and here is a pro tip but before we do that I'll be right back right after this break <laughs> Okay, here's a pro tip. Human resource management software is designed and developed to enhance communication and collaboration, right? So what it does is it streamlines core HR operations and processes in order to improve digital experiences of all the users via on-premise installation or cloud access with complete security. Now, after doing the, the investigation and uh, surveying and talking to hundreds of people before doing this show, I would recommend you choose cloud access with complete security so that you can you can save money now, avoid future on-prem to cloud transition costs, and beef up security protocols across all data points in your company. Thank you. And remember, stay marvelous.